Hey there guys and welcome back. I am Genoa and I've got some things to do. Most notably is I can designate my heir, so I'm going to go ahead and exercise that right by... Uh, so let's, uh, let's get rid of this dating Inquisitor. Designated heir, uh, where are you good sir? So is there somebody relatively young? Here we've got a 16 year old good with art. Um, anyone good with diplomacy, relatively young? He's 25, he's got good stats. Not really good there. 45, martialness. Yeah, he's alright, Marshall, he's a bit young. I think this guy, my son, I'm gonna designate him as the heir. Which now means title lost on succession. So we have to go ahead and fund this fella quite a bit if we want to maintain him as the inheritor. Which we can't actually afford right now. So I'm going to go ahead and designate somebody else as the heir until we get a bit of money. Because, yeah, you're now the heir, half brother. And you'll maintain the right to be the heir forever, half brother. I need to get quite a bit of money if I'm going to have that guy as my heir, like I want to, so let's go ahead and make some money. We make quite a bit, 21 points such and such per turn. I've been recommended to make Duke tier merchants instead of feudal lords. Give you less men, but a bit more money. I need money because I've got plenty of men, so... Excellent. Um, yeah, we've taken over this side of Africa. Nothing else I need to do over there. I need to take this, and I need to take that. And then we have Africa. Now, uh, from Africa, I want to attempt to create the... Arabian Empire, which is mostly wars against this one guy. In fact, it's only wars against this one guy. And Jerusalem. And whoever that is. Can I, uh, invade this here fellow? At all? I can. I can declare war on him, Holy War for Alexandria. And take one province. Can I do it while my men are all the way over here? Because... Can I please select them? If I can declare it while we're right on top of him, then that would really help out quite a bit. Let's get some extra quality uh, commanders. Umberto. Right, good chap. So these guys are on the way. That's all good. Want to, uh, if we can take land, we may as well take it. I'd rather take it before the other guys get it, because then it's just another war. Perhaps I could do a Dijur war over certain areas. Set up my horse. Do have time right now? Set up my horse. So what does he want? The King of Bohemia wants my courtier, a D. Genoa of randomness. Sure, why the hell not? Also, I'm playing uh, my random soundtracks from Paradox Games currently. Trade posts being built in Mahadia. So it should be more money. It's up to 23, I don't know if it's more or whatever. This is uh, in prison, this guy. He has no use at all. He is now imprisoned. Would he like to be ransomed at all? Banished? Oh, I'll take that one gold, thank you. Well, that's him gone. No, he was actually rather far away from having that guy as our heir, so yes. Marshal, fetch me the traitor. Hmm, I'd rather not upset anybody. And I'm relatively strong, but I'd still rather not. Does it show my total men here? Yes, apparently I have 28.42 thousand. Jarul Salem has 15 thousand. Because yes, I would be needing to take over this particular area of, well, the entirety of Jerusalem, I believe. And that will take several wars and such. Don't know what else I'm going to do. Sultanate of Syria. This is the uh, Jerusalem Kingdom. Any claimants to the Jerusalem Kingdom who we can take? We have her. Princess, ah oh, yes, de Lusignan. And they've changed all the uh, shields, that's a shame. The Lusignan, any... Are you unmarried, perhaps? No. Who's this fella? Does he want to come to my court? No. Hmm. See, her heir would be my nephew. And then I could play as that nephew through my uh, inheritance things. So I could declare her war for Jerusalem. And then our fellows would inherit. So declare war... Apparently, we could, ah yes, she's a woman without a strong claim, and they are about to inherit the whole of Castile as well. That's another 
Oh, it's not that many men at all, actually. Hmm. Okay, well, that's going to be something we'll have to look into. So, I think, would my fellow guesser claim? My nephew? See, who is that? That is your sister. So, we need a regency over there. Yes, would he inherit the claim? Claims weak claim can be inherited by a successor. So we would get claims on it. We just need a correct way to do it. If he was to die, and that would be a start. Yeah, a few of our Muslim brethren would like to. No, they're not even Muslims. Uh, yeah, please don't die. Don't fail. You're not a failure. No. Underground tournaments, no, that will not be happening. We want to uh, see this guy dead, then the heir to the King of Jerusalem will be somebody else, some random kid. And some random kid will be a lot easier to. Right, let's bribe this fella. He's got a lot of plot power and he's relatively cheap. Whereas he would cost a bit more. She, however, would cost hardly anything, so we'll get her on side as well. Only this couple, just to help out somewhat, get us over 200 mark, which I believe is the magic number. Please. Yes, over 200. It shouldn't take too long for that to die off. I'll accept his war. Not really much going on, so we'll allow this jewel as well. That's the plan. We'll try and inherit Jarul Salim. Maybe not Castile. I doubt that'll be part of it, but excellent. But yeah, we can at least take Jerusalem. Well, we're suffering attrition here. That's going to be expensive, I believe. Yes, it sure is. Right, you declare war. Holy War for Alexandria. Good. Men charge. I could call in my friends. There is no real point. We're just going to go here. We're going to kill some men and we're going to siege this out. It is a relatively easy task. Relatively easy. Not straightforward, but relatively easy. Some guy. Classic. Yes, approve the plan. See the guy dead. Also, storm this castle. No need to kill off everyone. We can just storm the castle 100 war score anyway. Please storm it. Please. The uh, the Muslims are joining in their Islamic brothers. We need to be finished here relatively quickly, please. Ah, good, so he died. Let's also freeze up her. Daughter of my good old friend. Do you want a marriage? I should have someone. No, I don't. Would you like a betrayal? Perhaps? And I do have a 14-year-old. Ugh, cost money, screw that. Trustworthy, whatever. Um, and that was hardly any war score. Right, kill his men. So, yes, I'm at war with this guy who I don't want to be at war with. Might cause us some issues, so hopefully we'll be able to get this over and done with relatively easy, but I doubt it. Something will probably go wrong. I've already lost quite a few men on this front. We killed all his men, and we're still not 100% war score. Why? Right, I guess we're falling back with your 200 men to help us out and your extra few as well. Hmm. I didn't want it to be this hard. I thought it'd be straightforward, but no, it's never straightforward. Never, ever is it straightforward, especially when we're not here hardly getting any men. I'd be cool if I had some kingdom vassals because this is really... Um, Yes, I mean, I could do it a lot easier by just simply raising up everybody, but I want to do it by these particular sections. Now, why are you independent? Oh, well, you have men that we raised. Alright, so I have all these guys. Let's just do this several times until we have them all on the ships. Come on, fellas. Get on the boats. I think that's all. So we'll select all this area, and yes, we have a few extra men. Hardly any, but still a few extra. Right, Genoa, you're part of the war. Get involved here. So, we're at war with you. Unfortunately, you still have all of your men. I don't exactly have anywhere near enough to beat you in the field. Lucky enough, we have friends. So we'll call you in, hopefully you'll join. I don't have friends in England anymore. That's a shame. Uh, well, let's call in these other people. Because we need them ever so dearly. Get in ships. We need your men. 
fast. Right, that's all of them, I suppose. Um, yeah, hardly any, but like I say, it all builds up. It's got to be an easy way of doing it, so I just don't do uh, shortcut keys or anything to that effect. Oh, I'm in the olden age. Also, I don't want to raise up my own personal men. That would be quite bad economically. Men are, of course, expensive. But yes, if might as well uh, at least start sieging here, because if we're going to win, it's going to be through sieging that. So we need to get men over there, basically. Nowhere else, just there. And hopefully we can get enough forces together and defend them. But we are gaining 340 men per month over there. So, yeah. It's not going to be that um, smaller men for long, is it? They're attacking it for some reason. We can reinforce it immediately through you guys, so get up and set sail. Hurry up about it. Even more men are coming in to join the fight for our holy war. So this is why I want de jure wars. I think this one here will be a de jure war when I press it. So you guys are taking ages. Hurry up. Some wars need to be won differently to others. Oh, there's actually a ship big enough for you all. Cool. Um, you guys, can I please select you? Very good. Can you get on the boats and get over there, please? Let's get all our men together. And perhaps we might have a chance of st not storming this. I'm alive. Very nice. We also have Byzantium on our side now, so their 3,000 men should really help. Also, military organisation. Let's get extra morale and extra dudes. Hardly any. And I can't exactly afford them, but at a later date, they will come in handy very much. Can this ship hurry up so I can give one out? Well, he's got 11,000 going in this way. That's cool, I suppose. He can go over there and split his troops. I'll simply go over here and keep my troops on the war goal, which we're trying to attack and take over. Gaining more and more men. So this is my niece. Ah. So I guess she needs a marriage. Any great lords or kingdoms or England, perhaps? England, you have a son already married. Your other son is 14. Let's arrange a betrothal between you and mine. Never mind. Oh, in fact, she's a niece. It's not an alliance, is it? Okay. Whatever. Get rid of the ships here, please, fellas. Oh, so I actually have an attrition point here. We may as well storm the castle then. I know we're going to lose a few men, but... Whatever. It's better than the attrition. Which is going to be constant, actually, with the amount of men here. So, yeah, storm it again. Maybe we can try and get 100% before anybody arrives and kills us. Because they're not going to be that far away, are they? Right, that's 80. And we're losing thousands of men. This is only one province. Can we please stop losing all of our men? Perhaps make some money? 340 per month. So this is out of 23,000. Plus you get the Holy Orders... In fact, holy orders. The thing is, I still have to pay them when they are... Wait, why can't I pay? Oh, they're currently uh, with Jarul Slim, so... That's why I like to keep people in my employ. Alright, so he wasn't coming to attack. Alright, we'll still take quite a while for this siege, but I think we're going to hang out a bit. We don't have near enough men to storm it. And, yeah, we've just got to hope that nobody reaches us. I could reinforce with the extra 7 or 5,000. I don't know where 7 came out. It just came out of my mouth. So I could get a few extra men over there. Quite a few monetarily. No, we couldn't. I'm supposed to be saving up money, not spending it like this. It's a barbaric behaviour. Hmm. I have another niece. Lovely. You would like to marry my son? No. You got an old Norwegian guy you can go and marry. He's a twin. You marry him, Yingling. Sure, he would love a rich merchant's daughter. Okay. Ah, good. What well on, Pope? Just what I needed. Sally doesn't teleport men over here like apparently reinforcement does. Are we recruiting the local populace? Are people just 
coming over from there on her own private ships to come and help. What's going on? And why are there French ships around? Yeah, hopefully I can win this... What's this? Something. Dangerous factions, independence. Well, I don't really want you going independence. Please stop. Gee, these two are expensive, but it's... It's kind of worth it. If it keeps them out of the faction, it is worth... Every penny. Apparently it's not keeping them out of faction, though. So I'm not going to storm this because I need the men for that reason. My monetary compensation, of course, give me cash. Great. I'll keep us afloat for this siege. Hopefully that is 100%, if not, bugger. That is 100%. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and offer peace, enforce demands, quality. We have Alexandria. We also have no need for you or you. Did lose quite a few thousand men, however. And you're going to take a while to replenish, and you're going to cost me everything. So let's go here and set it to that. Just a load of costs. Then we need to get rid of this area. I'm going to make it into a merchant republic. Who's going to get it? Any random people around here want to... Oberto, do you want to become a guy? Grant... Actually, you need someone with a big family, don't you? Search realm for men of my religion my culture preferably and not in prisons married yes ruler no great house no well I guess you're the only choice Mr. Attractive I married off but you're not getting it I suppose somebody random will have to do Huberto you are now the Grand city of Alexandria and everything underneath. Congratulations, you're now a Lord Mayor. And also, on that note, we'll be in this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.